they're not companies that are partaking in this, what you're alleging is the great reset, right. they're not companies that also do a lot of business in China and, yeah. and have a lot of factories in China and have a lot of workers in China. Right. Like the, these are companies that are, um, that, that, um, that have a lot of presence in China. And you're yeah. saying that, that, um, that China is like anti-West and that, they wouldn't coordinate with the rest of the of the of the world's leaders Spe because because they are anti-West. Well, or? partly it's because it's the China virus. You know, it came from China. At least that's what we're told. And I and I tend to believe it. Uh, I, I tend to believe mm -hmm. President Trump when he said it. Um, but China is has its own interest in protecting itself from extra responsibility for this virus that they let out on the world. And so that would explain why they're that. These companies who are doing business in China, they, they do, they're evil in many ways, right? These companies are evil in many ways. They're evil in the, in the so-called Western ways, the Western corruption and cultural rot, but they're also corrupt in that they will play with whatever China wants to do and do okay. the censorship for their citizens. So they're, it's like multifaceted evil, but they're, for sure, they're doing evil here and in China. Okay, so so yeah. if if China is anti-West and and let's say like I think you would you would say that Russia's anti-West too. Yeah, I think so. Okay, in a so different if, way. Okay, if these countries are anti-West or anti-America or anti-U.S., um, why wouldn't they? And when it when there's like this apparently coordinated effort by all these global leaders, why wouldn't they reveal that as like leverage um, over the United States if they're so anti-United States? Oh, yeah. I I don't know that China's as openly antagonistic against us as Putin, but Putin is definitely trying to defend himself and his, his uh, PR, if you will. He's doing a PR ploy, just like we're doing a PR. I say we. The, the so-called American media and government is doing a PR ploy against him and in favor of Ukraine. But he has pointed out how we're, um, you know, canceling J.K. Rowling for but that's different from, going against from, the... That's different from from companies coordinating and partaking in a in a coordinated effort to um, to spread progressive um, values. Right. Right. But you asked me why these why these companies, I mean, why these countries that are anti-West aren't aren't exposing. They us. should be exposing, exposing those exposing companies, us. though. Putin, that, Putin is J.K. JK Rowling is, is not an example of, of a company being exposed for. No, he's exposing <laughs> he's exposing the West. I'm talking about he's exposing the because you, you said that. Why don't they expose these uh, governments? And well, yeah, if the United the... States is in bed with all these companies right. and, and these companies are in bed with the World Economic Forum, mm -hmm. then it would make a lot of sense for somebody like Putin to um, reveal all of this to the world, right? Oh, you're, you're not aware that these companies are in bed with the government and in bed with the World Economic Forum? You think that's like a secret? You don't realize I mean, that it's out in the open that they're openly? I mean, I know that they're partners, but what does in bed yeah. with mean? In bed with means uh that they have a lot of sway in the direction of of the government they have like an outsized so it's just something that i would think your side would be complaining about if you know in in years past you probably have been and maybe to this day but these companies have major sway in the government and the government has some sway in the companies and you know you've seen cases where i think that like the cdc has wanted some censorship censorship on Facebook and Facebook has gone ahead and done that censorship for the CDC and stuff like that. So there's been like little just tip of the iceberg type examples, but it's, but it's kind of obvious. Aren't, are you not aware that like corporations have major sway in like the, in like the direction of the country? Well, that's just lobbying. That's not the great reset. I didn't say it was the great reset. I'm talking about uh, influence. Okay, influence, but that's just lobbying. Still, I don't. It's see not the just lobby. Well, okay, you're saying it's just lobbying. It's not just lobbying, but it is lobbying too. 
because the example that I said, that's not lobbying. <laughs> that's like the that's like the government directing a company to do violate the First Amendment of the people. But um, yeah, I mean, they're they all teamed up against Trump. The companies did the uh, government did. And uh, so, yeah. And uh, those so-called world leaders that that, um, you know, at the U.N. and NATO and everywhere else, they they hated Trump because <laughs> he, he held their feet to the fire. OK, um, so uh, so this just sounds like a dislike of lobbying then. No, why are you? Why do you keep on going back to lobbying? I don't this know. Way more than this lobbying. Doesn't, it doesn't make uh, how <laughs> how is this? How is this the Great Reset? How is this? OK, I'm not necessarily talking about the Great Reset. I'm talking about the players involved. OK, in then what is the, the Great, great reset. reset? The Great Reset is uh, let's destroy the economy and build it back better. Let's which is what they did, which is what they're trying to do anyway. They're they're. Um, They've wrecked the economy, and now they have. They've had. They have this crisis that they helped create, and whether they intentionally created it or they're just so such female-minded people that they didn't even realize what destruction they were bringing onto the onto these countries. Um, that's what they did, and these mu local municipalities, like, like we've seen, they did the destruction, and they swoop in with their with their solutions and pretend like they're the good guys. I mean, they, maybe in their hearts they think they are the good guys. Who knows how deluded these people are? That's the great reset in in my mind. Destroy and rebuild. Let's let's call the climate thing a crisis, and institute all these policies that kill the economy. And let's swoop in and redistribute the wealth and coordinate and grab they, power. How are they? Um. How are they coordinating? together to talk about the climate then that, I mean that I guess it for, for one example or something like that well there's um the IPCC at the UN I think it's the international panel on climate change or whatever um they have done a lot with the propaganda about the climate and saying that oh we need to do this and that we need to redistribute America's wealth to these poor countries so that they can uh, they can manage what's what's coming, you know, the rising sea levels and all that stuff, greater storms and all this, fires, more people will be displaced, wars are going to break out. We need uh, mitigation efforts in advance. And then their mitigation efforts are like, you know, the, the Green New Deal type stuff, which is globalist socialism and getting rid of manly jobs and things like that. So the IPCC is the great reset? No, the IPCC is is a tool for it. It's definitely pushing um pushing the climate propaganda, climate hype, climate hysteria. So, yeah, that's one example, the IPCC inside of the UN. Mhm. Mm did did you not did you listen or have you read up any of what they've put out from their meeting? Or in the book about climate change, I'm sure it's, yeah, it's been they, mentioned repeatedly. Oh, we need to extend the shutdowns. Change. We need climate shutdowns now. But but again, it's just a bunch of to me that what this looks like is just a bunch of rich people meet up in Davos and they you know have some parties and do some TED talks to make themselves feel more important. I know. And then they it's so uh, cringy. Yeah. And then and then you know then they they go home after that. For sure I mean it's it's not just rich people. I don't know how rich some of these people are. There are rich, but there's also these people that they call themselves experts or they call other people experts and bring them in and they do this world leaders thing. And uh without a doubt there's there's um a push to there's been you know ex so-called experts have been quoted as saying once we finish with the China virus shutdown. We need a uh, a climate change shutdown. This has been helpful for the climate. So th they want to keep the the control going. They being like the you know the female minded people who are like control freaks, uh, who think that they know f better than the people what's best for what's best for the people. Okay, I think. Do you, do you follow what I'm saying? <laughs> I I'm trying. I'm trying. Um. But, uh, you know, I think I, I don't know. I that... think that you're wanting coordination, like more coordination and more like nefarious, secretive stuff and like juicy details. I'm not really a conspiracy theory guy. I, 
I, I mean, I don't like using the term because I know I, I like it, but I don't like it. I know yeah. there's been a lot of a lot of times the conspiracy theorists are proven right in different ways. But a lot of times they jump to things that are not they don't know what's they don't. I like to stick with what I know and I don't know much, but I can see uh, that some of this is just hype. It's unnecessary and and it's evil. And you called it you called it um, emotional. I don't know why we would call it my my takes emotional exactly how does how does calling something evil um calling something evil to me seems like kind of an emotional tactic oh. um yeah that seems like a very emotional woman brain thing to do um <laughs> do so, you agree that it's woman brained to well be i mean emotional? i'm just using i'm using okay. your vocabulary all right, right? All right so it's a very female am i bringing you to my side uh well i maybe i'm i'm a little bit more male brained i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it sounds um, like you're starting to come around nice I, I don't know about that one but um uh i guess i guess it's a um a meeting okay. of minds <laughs> so if you want so, we can go ahead and move into the q a in a few minutes so if you want we can sure, do yeah. a, a couple minutes for hake and then let's start with us have the last word uh, yeah. because uh, you opened and then we'll go ahead and go to Q&A. But I do want to remind everyone that um, since we are about to go to the Q&A, that if you do have a super chat, those will be read first. Um, but we will, um, of course, if we have time, get to any other questions if we do have time. But um, again, if you are insulting one of the debaters, uh, your super chat will not be read. So please uh, be sure to attack the uh, the person and not the argument and not the person. So uh, go ahead. Take. I don't mind. I can be insulted. I I, yeah, I don't mind fun. being insulted either. So, yeah. All right, then we'll just let it rip. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, kids, in advance if any kids are listening. So, anyway, um, before okay, so before my closing statement, I can ask like a a question or or something of Stardust, Kaz. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this, you said that it's calling something evil seems like an emotional argument. Is it because when I call something evil, it elicits an emotional reaction from you or from other people or is it because you think that i'm being emotional and calling it something i evil? think you're being emotional and calling it evil i don't really have a view um i don't call things evil or good because i feel like these are are things that people base off of like their individual um uh, morality rather than um like looking at things from a very logical and people get very very emotionally connected to their individual like moral compass and 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 what they base their morals off of yeah so. that's so true and that's why i think that this great reset thing is evil because they are taking their false morals and pushing it on on the rest of us they think that they need to fight this racism thing and they call that you're doubling I mean, they down on the female-minded uh tactic then say that again you're doubling down on the female-minded tactic then uh, of my female-minded tactic of calling evil what it is is well, that what you're saying I mean, I mean you know playing you know re re i guess like going with your emotions and calling things evil rather than demonstrating why they're evil right well okay let me let me attempt to demonstrate why um like the woman's equality thing or the Black Lives Matter thing is evil. Just maybe a couple of examples. Well, I think she wants to know exactly what is what. Can you define how women minded is evil? Women oh, well, mind. I, well, it's more like what about the Great Reset is evil, and why is it evil? How is it evil? Okay. Exactly. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. One good thing that I have learned about uh, America and American politics is that local control tends to be better than federal control. We've seen examples where they have hate crimes legislation, and that has been a divide, very divisive and conquering sort of tactic. You've seen all kind, a rash of people perpetrating fake hate crimes. And that, I argue, is evil. It's... Um, it's an attack. Usually these fake hate crimes are attack are to smear Trump supporters and white people or Christians or, or whatever. And so that, that's evil because they're perpetrating by doing a fake hate crime. They're perpetrating a real hate, hate crime. If you really believe in that concept against the whites or against the Trump supporters or against the Christians. So and you'll see over and over and over again, this is way more common than not, where 
a black or a gay or somebody will do like a swastika on the side of a church or do a paint, put the N word in the, in a college building. And then they have all this or put a repost, like a KKK, uh, pro picture, um, flyer in a, in schools or whatever over and over they do it. And very rarely are they really even, um, punished for this. So that has been a mo that's been a, 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 a false motivator prompted by this fake idea of, of hate crimes. And that's been pushed by the federal government uh, in order to just meddle with the local stuff. So local control, you have more direct, um, it's a logical thing, more direct um, recourse with the person who is controlling you. If you can confront the person, hey, you're do I don't like your policies. You can't confront somebody and in DC or at the UN or, or even at the state level, it's difficult to. So local control is better. The World Economic Forum seems to be for the opposite of that. So that's one like logical thing that the World Economic Forum is kind of against. Uh, they, might, they might claim that they're not. And then they're therefore this anti-racism thing, pretending that blacks are victims and the POCs are victims and whites are oppressors. They definitely push that. They pretend that um, the black disproportionate suffering from the virus is a result of systemic racism and, and stuff like that. So they're pushing lies. Lies, I say, are evil. And they're pushing anger. Anger, I say, is evil, no matter who it com it's coming from. So that's what I mean by evil. Um, women, w this women's equality thing, it's only I try to turn it push over division. To real soon. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you, f you follow what I mean by evil? Lies, anger, uh, false division. Those are examples of evil. And then the centralized power thing, which is centralizing power is a corrupting influence. So that's evil too. Okay. Okay. Lies, uh, power, centralizing power. Mm -hmm. um, these are all evil. And anger. Right? And anger is evil. Yeah. Okay. All right. How... How is the Great Reset evil? <laughs> well, I mean, start us. Well, why don't you go ahead and just uh, wrap it up and give him uh, okay. a, a little right. closing thoughts. Let's not ask him any questions. So. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, I have a um, closing statement. Um, I can pause the time and. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. You sorry. can go ahead and ask your question. I'm sorry. I just didn't mm -hmm. want to have him have a whole another uh, train of a conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. start off. I'll yeah. try not to be uh, long winded. Okay, I'll just go into closing statement then. Um, go ahead. Uh, so it seems that um, Hake believes the Great Reset is when things happen in the world. If that's the definition, he's taken the position that everything that happens that isn't slowly and deliberately explained to Hake. Uh, is part of the Great Reset and evidence of a conspiracy, um, even though he says it's not conspiracy. That level of paranoia, magical thinking, and fear of the authoritarian global elites must be exhausting. I believe that the Great Reset is a failed attempt at branding what business owners have been realizing since the 80s. Firms have a self-interest in maintaining healthy, productive communities and a healthy, sustainable earth, because that leads to making more money. Billionaires who fly to space instead of feeding their employees are a problem, but they're assholes, not a conspiracy. All right. Thank you so much, Stardust, for your uh, closing statement. We're going to go ahead and kick it into the Q&A. And I do have my, uh, my questions.